That's a big fish, dude. I didn't see it very well. I saw the tail. And it was a big tail. All right, well, we're on the board. This one's a little smaller than we're looking for. That one go back. So what I got going on is just this little jigging spoon tip with an emerald shiner that uh, was purchased in Canada. I have a receipt to prove it in case we're checked. And uh, I just got one minnow on a, a single hook there on the bobber. But I just missed one about uh, a minute ago. So we're gonna work on catching enough walleye for a fish fry. And uh, then we're probably gonna head into another lake and do some lake trout fishing. So we'll see how it goes. Well, I got two decent ones on the ice now. It's right here. Oh, it's right there. Oh, these are Well, these gloves are fine. Oh, it's not that big. Crap, I thought it was bigger than that. wind a little bit here it's pretty nasty out here all right so it's a 130 update we got Charlie set up just down the shoreline a little ways what I'm gonna do here is drop down the Cisco and I am in I got a little sinker on here assist with that um, so I'm in 50 feet of water right here and I'm gonna set up my jigging hole right over here. I'm guessing that's probably gonna be in 35 feet of water. And then we got this larger island right here. And then there's a handful of smaller ones. So hopefully this is a nice little area where they kind of work those bait fish around. And we'll see if we can get into a nice lake trout. I don't know, I had to, he was squealing. Okay. And uh, so I had to, Oh my god! I had to tighten my drag. I, my drag isn't, I don't know how tight it is, but it's, uh, he's decent at a bare minimum. You want to have, is he out down a ways, you think? You have, you have no, no idea. idea? I have no idea. Wish we had a bigger hole if it's a giant. That's a big fish, dude. I didn't see it very well. I saw the tail, and it was a big tail. Probably your biggest trout if you... Oh my god. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Oh my gosh. He's not gonna turn... See, he's hooked on the outside. Is that his head? Oh. Nope. It's gonna be fucking hard. Right when he walked out, he was like almost... He, I thought he was maybe gonna put his head up the hole. Oh man, <laughs> I don't know if I can grab it by the tail. I, no, that's just, I definitely don't want to make you lose it. Oh, we almost got it. Oh my God. He just did one little head shake and it was snapped. That was big. Oh, that was big. I got back about a uh, half hour ago. Got kind of chilled out there and I figured, well, that's about enough for, for today. Well, I said earlier that we're staying up at Kabe Lodge, and that's where uh, I'm hanging out right now. This is the, the main lodge area, and this is the, the only area that's open for winter guests. They have, I think, seven different cabins 
that uh, folks stay in in the summertime, but it's uh, it's a beautiful area up here. The the lake that we're on is Sturgeon Lake, and the location of this resort is is right up here. And uh, this afternoon we were doing some fishing out in this this main basin here, working some of the structure. But this is actually just half of the lake. You flip it over, and it just continues on to the north. It's uh it's a massive, massive lake. You could spend a lot, a lot of time fishing uh, for lots of species. Primarily, it's going to be, as you can see here, walleye, northern pike, um, lake trout, of course, right there, which is primarily what we're after. But yeah, it's a beautiful spot. Really nice uh, hosts here. The owner, Jamie, brought us out and about today, did, did a little guiding for us and put us on some fish. So... It's a Super Bowl on Sunday, and we're going to have a good fish fry, but we'll wait for the rest to trickle in. They're out fishing the eel pout, ling, burbot, whatever you want to call it, and they'll probably be back here in about an hour and a half or so, but I'm going to get settled in and relax. All right, final day of fishing. It's uh, about 7.30 right now, and we're all going to make the long haul. It's uh, nearly a 30-mile snowmobile ride. Uh, one way so we're getting a good early start hopefully the trout have turned on today and we uh, have our fish in a matter of no time all right let's get this journey started nine o'clock and we're all set up got a tip up right over there in 24 feet of water and we're sitting at right about 80 right here we've been set up for about 10 minutes now and we got five of us over here so hopefully something happens soon you had it up to your leader at one point, right? I think yep. so. Yeah. Yep. Uh, the leader knot came out for a second. How long is your leader? We don't know. It might be sure long. What hooks do you have? I have on the, the eel pout thumper. It's got one little treble. The white? Yep. Low deal with the one treble. Oh boy. Here comes Charlie. Here comes. Like white line. Hey! <laughs> Ooh, baby! That's a nice one. Yeah! Dark one. Woohoo! It is dark. Good job! Awesome! Team. <laughs> Thanks for driving over here, Charlie. <laughs> I'm glad I did. Thank you. There's one right on bottom. I just uh, set up. Oh my gosh, it's gonna come up. Slow the presentation down a little bit. Come on. Who knows what it is? But I just got set up at a new spot. Got the tip up right in front of me. That's tipped with a Cisco it's sitting right on bottom. We are in about 56 feet of water. Situated off this little point here. It's 1245 right now. And I think what I'm gonna do is give it possibly until two o'clock. We'll see. Hopefully I get a fish in the next uh, few minutes and I can rock and roll. But the plan is I'm gonna hike around that area that I scouted yesterday that looked fairly promising for, for moose sheds. 
and see see if we can find anything over there and then we're gonna head on back to the lodge the rest of the day is gonna go by really fast so just make the most of it and hopefully we can put one one trout on the ice that would be nice but it is really 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 nice out here today it makes all the difference not having that horrible wind but you got the snow on the this black spruce and balsam out here and it's beautiful pretty tough to beat this there he is Well, I didn't get any of that on video, but this trout hit it four times. I had it on four different times. And then I finally connected it this last time. And I had it right up to the hole. And I got my left arm wet. The line snapped. But I was able to stick my hand down there and grab it. This is... Uh, <laughs> This trout is definitely coming home with me. <laughs> I'm stoked, that was a lot of fun. It chased me up and down the water column and it was a blast. But I'm good, I'm gonna get everything packed up here and uh, we're going to uh, head over and see if we can find a moose paddle. <laughs> wow awesome marshall you can look up and smile <laughs> on the tip up all right we're out in the moose woods now we're gonna see what we can find if anything there's a, a ton of sign where i'm at right now like, for example, you can see this paper birch here. So it's been recently snapped. Everything's been browsed on. There's, there's tracks all over the place. And they, they spent a lot of time in this, this area. It's unfortunate that the snow is coming down pretty good. But we're not going to be out here for, for too long. The conditions are pretty decent. So we do have probably eight inches of snow on the ground, so we're not gonna be able to find everything. But that first day we got here, it was raining. And then so that has gotten solid on the top. So I'm able to stay right on top of the snow. There's just this little powder. So that's super helpful in being able to cover as much ground as I can in the short amount of time that I have. Well, I really can't believe it. I've been walking for about 200 yards, according to Onyx. And I saw, I was following this old logging trail right back here. And then there's this uh, more balsam fir cover. And I thought, well, it's nice because, and this is exactly what I was thinking, there's not as much snow on the ground in these areas. So what I thought to myself as well, if there's uh, one in there from last year or whenever, probably be visible. And I was walking here and this is how it goes, it's some shed hunting. I got the right here. I was looking off to my right and then I looked to my left and there's a decent paddle from, let's see. How long have you been out here? Decent brown on the back? I would say you are last year's drop. We'll get this cleaned up a little bit and take a closer look. All right, back to the snowmobile. Paddle looks pretty good on this side. 
and I would say, well, that snow was really starting to come down and the snow got deeper when I got into the more open areas and that was enough to make it pretty challenging, but I did put on a mile and a half back there and uh, yeah, I would say, I would say we're pretty successful. So I'm going to uh, pack up here and start snowmobiling back to the lodge and we're gonna have a big fish fry tonight and watch the Super Bowl. All right, and all that hard work on the there ice comes hard. down to this. Yeah. Good eats. Yeah, there's yellow perch, walleye, oh, lake trout, pout. You name it, it's in here. Um, and we're watching the Super Bowl here this evening. And we got a special Super Bowl cake. Mm -hmm. All right, well, it's our last night up here at Cod Bay Lodge. We had some wonderful hosts back here, Jamie, Sherry. And uh, when you come up here, you get treated really well. And uh, the fishing is excellent and the time is great. So, this is what it's all about. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers.